So in the previous video, what I did was I showed you how to differentiate x is equal to t squared, y is equal to 2t. And we did it in really the wrong way to go about it. Okay, So we went from the parametric equations to the Cartesian form and then differentiated from there. Okay, Now in general, we can't go from the parametric equations to the Cartesian form. So there must be another way of doing it. So if you have x is equal to a function of t and y is equal to another function of t, okay, then in order to find dy by dx, what we can do is introduce the chain rule. Because the chain rule says that as long as we've got dy there, okay, and we've got dx there, then as long as this bit and this bit are the same, then effectively, this is really terrible, right? terrible way to put it, they cancel each other out, okay? So this is kind of like the, uh, in layman's terms, how it's going to work. So in order to get those bits, well, we can see that x is a function of t and y is a function of t. So if these are both dt, then I can work out dy by dt and dx by dt and find the reciprocal, and then I could use this formula. Okay, So parametric differentiation uses the chain rule and uses that form there. So if we go about it with these two equations, what I need is dx by dt and dy by dt. Okay, So that's the first thing to find dx by dt is 2t, and dy by dt is 2. So dy by dx is equal to dy by dt, which is 2, times dt by dx, so 1 over 2t. And that is 2 over 2t. The 2s cancel, and you just get left with 1 over t. Now compare that with the previous video. And you should find that we got exactly the same answer. This is how we work with parametric differentiation. Okay? We can differentiate both of the parametric equations, and then we use the chain rule to bring it all together.